these blushes here and the website where I purchased them and just stay tuned and I hope you enjoy this review. Alright so now time for swatches and names so that you can like put those two together and maybe it'll help when you're looking on the side and you're not sure what colors to get and what colors not to get because some of these colors are quite similar. Let's start off with this one right here it's called Coral Spice. This was definitely one of the ones I really wanted to get from the very beginning. Um, it's I don't know, it just seemed like a great color. Um, so it's this pinky color. I think it's looking a little purpley on screen. But it's definitely like a bright, bubbly pink almost. Um, it's really, really pretty. So I went ahead and, and did like a strong swatch on my hand just so you can really see the color. And then one that's almost blended out a bit. So it's this one right here. It's, um, it's right here. And then this is like the blended out version of it. Um, let's see, maybe you can see it better that way. So yeah, that's it right there. And this color um, definitely has some glitter to it. It's not like golden glitter, um, like say Orgasm or the dupe, I guess, that Elf sells, the blush and bronzer duo. Um, it's more like a silvery glitter, silvery sheen to it. Um, it's not big chunks of glitter and stuff, but it's, it, I mean, it's really, really pretty. So, um, so that's the first one I did there. And let's see if you can, ah, oh God. So yeah, it's this one right here. And then um, next to that, I went ahead and swatched Flamingo Pink, which is another pink, but this one's definitely purplier, um, and it's matte. So they are quite different. Um, I'll go ahead and put them side by side so you can maybe see the differences between them. Um, so yeah, this one here is Flamingo Pink, and this is Coral Spice. As you can see, this one's matte. This one does have some sort of like sheen and glitter to it, um, and this one is purplier than this one is. So um, I went ahead and swatched that one right next to Coral Spice. So that's flamingo pink right there. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it is, you know, purplier than um, coral spice, but not as purple as this one here that I'm about to mention. The um, blended out versions of them, um, you can definitely see the glitter in coral spice. This one does remain matte. Um, and as for color, uh, this one seems peachier and pinkier. Um, this one just seems like a very, 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 very light purple. Um, next, I went ahead and swatched another purple color, um, which is Mulberry, but this one's way darker than Flamingo Pink, um, or at least in the pan it is, so this one here is Flamingo Pink and this one's Mulberry. As you can see, this is just a truer purple, this one was like a purpley pink, um, and yeah, they're both matte, so they're very similar in that sense, um, but in the pan they do look quite different, the Flamingo Pink does look a lot pinker, I would consider it a pink, it's just more like a, uh, maybe... I was going to say neon, but it's not neon. Um, well, slightly neon, maybe. I don't know. But, um, so yeah, so that's Mulberry right here. As you can see, it's it's a lot purplier. Um, but, you know, crazy, I, I don't know, I thought it was crazy. I mean, this is, Mulberry is a darker color than Flamingo Pink, but um, Flamingo Pink was more pigmented than Mulberry was. So when I tried doing swatches, I actually had to use a bit more product to get it this intense. So, um... As you can see here in the blended out versions, um, they're actually quite similar, very, very similar. Um, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference, honestly, if if I didn't know that I had swatched this one here and that one there. So, um, yeah, the blended out versions of them are very, very similar. Very, very similar. So, um, although they do look different in the pan, they're both matte and they're, they both have some purpley, maybe pinkness to them. Um, this one is true or purple, but when they're blended out, Say on your cheek and stuff, they're gonna look almost identical. By the way, right now I am wearing mulberry, um, but you can't really see the purpleiness. It almost kind of blends out to be like a pinky purpley color, I guess. Um, so yeah. Anyway, right next to that, I went ahead and swatched cinnabar, which is this browny color. Um, it's very pretty, but it's not brown enough, or like it's not, it, it's a browny color, but you wouldn't really be able to use it maybe as a uh, bronzer because um, it does have like some orangey to it to it so um let's see it's this one right here um, so you know very true to the color that you get you see on the pan um, so it's like a, a brownish color um, it's I don't know like it's a brownie orangey color 
that's it right there and then this is the blended out swatch of it right here so um, it looks very very pretty on the skin I love that bronze look and stuff but um, I wouldn't use it as a bronzer all around or even to contour it just because it's a bit orangey so then right next to that I went ahead and swatched peach which is this color right here surprisingly it's not like a true peach for me um, it has a lot of brown in it um, but this is it compared to cinnabar this is cinnabar and this is peach um, there they are they're very similar, um, very, very similar. If anything, this almost reminds me like a, of a, peach reminds me of almost like a, a rusty color. I think it has a bit of like reddish undertones to it. Um, and so this is it right here. And I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up, but it definitely looks a little reddish -er than I would maybe consider a peach. But when you blend it out, it looks beautiful and it definitely does look peachy. That's it right there, blended. This is a strong swatch that I did right next to it. So yeah, and then um, right after that, I did this last color that I have right here. Um, I don't know the name. Um, I'm really, really sorry. It's not on the back. Um, the, all the other ones have their names like written on the back and stuff. Um, my sister, she was like, oh wow, that the writing's so messy. But anyway, the writing is on the back of them. This one, for some reason, it's not there. I don't know if it was and it just got like... I don't know, like scratched off or something, but I doubt it. I just, I really don't think this one has a name on it to begin with. But anyway, it's this color right here. I'll go ahead and um, put the, the name down here if I like, figure out what it is. Um, my sister actually got her the same colors right here, so hers might have it on the back, or I can just maybe check my bill thingy if I still have it. Um, but yeah, so it's this color right here. Um, it's really, really pretty. Definitely one of my favorites. It reminded me a lot of Coral Spice. This is them right next to each other. It's Coral Spice. This is the mystery one here um, they both have shimmer to them so these are the only ones that I have that have some sort of shimmer to them the other ones the other four are matte um, so they both have like that silvery glitter to them it's not gold um, this one might have a little more gold sh shimmer to it so yeah the mystery one does um, so that's them side by side once again and as for swatches um, this one's here here um, and it almost looks neon like in the strong swatch at least it does um, it looks like a straight up like Barbie doll pink bubblegum pink um, it's really really pretty um, I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up but um, I think on camera it almost looks a little purplier but it's not purple it's it's definitely pink like straight up pink in person it almost looks a little peachy but on my swatch it looks peak pink 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 um, the swatch however um, does look a little peachy and so if anything um, that's that right there I would maybe let's see in the light actually these two look very similar um, coral spice and this one do there are these two right there I don't know if you can see them um, but yeah so these are the swatches um, for these colors that I have um, I don't know if you can see them there we go and so yeah that's it for swatches I hope you enjoyed that I hope they were helpful so now about the website um I placed my order on December 13th I wanted them to be here for Christmas because I wanted to make this gift for my sister um, obviously these come in just pan form so you do need somewhere to store them and I decided to make my own palette for my sister for Christmas so I went ahead and made like a little book shape um, little palette with like zebra pink and black like little zebra print on the front and back and then I wrote the book of shadows you know instead of I mean no I wrote the book of blushes instead of the book of shadows um, like Urban Decay's so so, um, so I went ahead and did that, but um, I placed the order on December 13th. They didn't get to my house until January 3rd, so it did take really long, longer than I expected them to take. So um, that wasn't that wasn't that wasn't good. So if you're you know if you're planning on placing an order on makeupmania.com, make sure that you do anticipate them taking forever and ever and ever to ship your product because it did take them like two weeks just to process my order. But anyway enough about the company as for the blushes I really really like them um, a little goes a very long way um, all you need to do is just tap your brush on the blush and already you might get too much product on your face so just be very 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 careful with them but um, I did read some reviews where people complained about the size of the um, blushes and I mean to tell you the truth I I guess they were a bit smaller than maybe I thought they were gonna be but they're the same exact size I think as my um as my foundation here but they are smaller than the MAC ones but you need the tiniest amount like I don't I don't ever see myself finishing these I think I will be able to have them for years and years and years um, and I'll, they'll just last forever and the amazing part about them is that 
they are only two fifty dollars, two two hundred fifty dollars, two dollars and fifty cents. So um, can't get any better than that. I mean, I love Elf, and one of the reasons I love Elf so much is that it's so inexpensive. I love sales. I love using coupons. I love, you know, just ah, I just love it all. And I get this rush when I do, you know, get that type of stuff. So I'm sorry, my sister, um, but your blushes were only two fifty. I know, but it took me forever to make the um the little thingy. I'll go ahead and like post pictures here, maybe and like put it up here and stuff but um if you're interested in finding out how does I do that then just go ahead and let me know down below and I will maybe do a, a video on that so yeah um I guess that's it uh thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for watching this review I hope you enjoyed it I hope my swatches were helpful um my favorite color would have to be but um I'm not sure what color that is um probably coral spice or the mystery color um so my favorite colors are this one here and that one. I just really like pinky corals. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That's that's that. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. Yay! And I really like these blushes. They're super pigmented. Haha. <laughs> these are my swatches. Super awesome. Super super pretty. All of them are. They're super gorgeous. There's not one color I don't like. I like them all. They're amazing. They're super super cool. Swatch. Um. My bright's kind. Of, my bright's kind of light. I don't know why I always talk backwards, but um. So yeah. So this is you get a very similar color. Um. I think it's a little purpler, pur purpler, a little purplier than I would expect. Um.